Creativity is probably the most important commodity for the success of business today. And I think people get creativity mixed up with art, but if you think about Da Vinci, yeah, he was a great painter and a sculptor and a musician. D did you know he was a musician? He was a great musician, and we, we don't have anything to this day. He was also a great scientist. He, he was an alchemist, which is not so good, but he was a mathematician, a botanist, a cartographer. And so he used both sides of his brain, both the science, the analytical, and then the artistic. And so that's what he used every time that he was creative. And creativity is just a unique solution to a problem. Because it's the most important thing in business, it's also one of the biggest lacking things in business. My program is fun. It's not these heavy, this is innovation, this is how you get to it. It's a, it's a way to get to creativity. And you know what, we're all creative when we're kids. If you walked in to a classroom of, of kindergartners and asked them who can sing or dance or paint, they'd all be going, oh, me, 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 and we were that way. And as we get older, it's not people, it's us. You know, that little voice in our head that is saying, you know, don't embarrass yourself. Don't, 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 don't fail, you know? And, and so my program, hopefully, is getting to them through improvisational comedy. I pull people up uh, out of the audience, and we work on leadership skills and yes-anding for brainstorming, which is, is fantastic in itself. You know, a lot of people ask me, what is the perfect audience for my program? And who cannot use innovation or creativity? We are all hit with fresh problems every day. The person that could be that problem solver is going to be more valuable to his company, to his client. If you're one of those people, you're going to be the person that needs to hear this program. I think the most powerful message is that everybody's creative. And somehow through the, the time in their life, and it's not, like I said, it's not just art, that they've, they've been shot down, that they've had to deal with uh, so much negativity in their life and worry that they're going to fail. And I know they've heard that before. Don't be afraid to fail, but I don't care how many times it's said. They really do have to feel that. And I'm not only teaching them not to be afraid to fail, but I'm teaching their leaders to give them positive reinforcement for their failure, because there is no success without failure. I end every program with a method of painting from Leonardo da Vinci. He invented it himself in the Renaissance, and it's called sight size. And what it is, is ways to look at your subject that you're painting in as different, as many different perspectives as you can. And wow, that's so wonderful because he looked at every problem that way, not just his paintings. He constantly was searching for more perspectives. That's how I end my program. I talk about his different perspectives, ways that he looked at his, his problems. And I end it with a painting. And I paint it from a perspective that no one's ever seen before. And when it reveals what it is, I hope you have that aha moment of understanding what really good perspective can get you.